There are so many ways to hold a putter. There's so many different grips and holding methods, but do you have a putter grip that actually fits the holding method that you use? So today we're gonna review the Garson grips and there's multiple different shapes and sizes and we're gonna go through those and see which one would fit your putting method best. Hey guys, I'm Brady and this is Tyson with Golf Ascending and today we're here at the Knowles Putting Green, which aka is uh, Tyson's backyard, <laughs> and we are reviewing, like I said, the Garson grips and we're reviewing multiple grips. And not only that, Tyson and I have actually been testing them out for quite a while and testing the different methods. And so we're going to give you our review and our thoughts and Tyson's going to get into the different grips right now. Yeah, so I mean there's a saying out there that is, if the shoe fits, and you know recently my two year old's been watching Toy Story and what comes to mind is Woody talking about his boot, if the boot fits. <laughs> Say that again. If the boot fits. Long story short, you guys just need to kind of accept that if you have a certain style of putting method or grip style or holding method, that you need a matching and accompanying grip to go with it. So today we're gonna to talk about Garson. They've got mainly three different styles of grips, um, but they fit multiple different holding styles. We're gonna go into the specifics on that. Um, but yeah, let's hop over there. All right guys, so this is the Garson Max. Now this is actually most famous for Henrik Stenson putting this in the bag. Um, he had it in 2016 to win the Open Championship and Brady's got a little bit of ill feelings about that. Yeah, nothing against Henrik Stenson, I like him, but I'm, I'm a big Phil Mickelson fan and I was really bummed. He did everything right. He should have won that, but then Henrik just killed it. And you know, a lot of it was due to his three wood, but his putting game was on fire. It he was. Just, yeah, he, he did really well, and it, it was enough that there was a little bit of buzz as to what the heck was this grip, because it is a little bit unconventional. Um, you know, it's got this little spine on top, and if you guys notice, and you guys have seen our other review videos, we reviewed the Kotahi grip by BJM, which it shares the same characteristic of the spine on top, which kind of helps bring the elbows in and palms out. Palms out. Um, but the, the BJM Kotahi, it's a little bit more extreme it's taller yeah. um, i would say this one feels more kind of natural it's kind of more of a natural progression from your normal grip yeah where kotahi forces you to do that yeah. palms out exactly um but a little bit about this um so this is the standard max um i believe it's 10 inches um it does come in a 15 inch version which brady has right here um, and it comes in two different um kind of materials one is a, a semi tacky material which is you know, these multicolored ones like I've got and Brady's got. We've also got a smooth tacky one. Uh, this is called the Max Tour. Um, it's essentially, it's the same kind of feeling. It's just not as tacky, um, more of that smooth feel. But, uh, you know, my overall thoughts of this, I, as you guys, if you guys saw the Kotahi video, I was super sold on that palms out method, uh, removing the wrist movement and everything. And my only issue with Kotahi was the material that was used on it. It was not pleasant. It was a very sticky, kind of gross, slimy feel. And when I saw that Garson did a similar thing, I was like, I gotta try it. Because if there is something that feels better, looks more, you know, sleek and, you know, cool to look on my, you know, <laughs> nice bet already <laughs> nice putter, I'm gonna try it out. So, yeah. um, and the putting on the bag, I love the size of it. I actually liked the back, how it fit more in the palm of my hand rather than kind of that that severe uh, steepness to the um, Kotahi. But something really cool, we talk about versatility with um, these grips. The Garson Max is no exception. I mean, you know, like I said, it does do the, um, you know, brings the elbows in as kind of a palms out method. Um, also kind of keeps them neutral. You can do a normal grip. You can you um, interlock, you can do kind of baseball. The other thing you can do, surprisingly, is it actually fits really well with the claw. Brady, you want to talk about yep. that a little bit? Yeah, um, as he was saying, it's very versatile, but the claw fits pretty well um, between your thumb and your index finger when you put it on. We'll show a bunch of different grips that you can use just with this grip alone. And something I like about this, if you're going for a first grip and you don't totally know what putting method or holding method you want to use, this longer one that's like, what is it, 15, 15. inches? Mm -hmm. It's pretty good because you can also um, extend or if you like to go um, choke down on the grip a little bit more, 
This is great for that. You can have your index finger out along the side of the grip, as, all, as well as uh, the, what does he call it, the flip it, where you do left-handed over. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so the longer one, I feel like it gives you a lot more options if you're not totally sure on what type of holding method you want to use. But because of the shape, it makes it comfortable and there's multiple different ways you can use it, which I think is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I would say, you know, just kind of as to wrap this one up a little bit, it gives you that stability. It kind of helps bring everything in, causes less rotation in the hands in the movement there. So that is the Garson Max. We're gonna hop over now to the Garson Quad. Um, so let's get over there. All right, guys, so the Quad Tour. So I've got this one in the blue and the red accent. Um, but this one also very versatile. Um, you know, the way that it's shaped, it's got this kind of parallelogram look to it, trapezoidy type thing. Um, but what it does, that angle, as you grab it, it, the way that it hits your palms, it actually forces the elbows in as well in kind of a, a, a different way. Yep. Um, something that, that's cool about this, it's got a flat top. So if you need that to kind of help you square the putt, you can kind of see down the putter if it's square, as well as if you like to rest your thumbs on top, that's, I know that's comfortable for a lot of people. Um, so if you don't necessarily like that little crease on the top like the Max has, this is kind of that other alternative to that, which you can kind of do some similar things. Um, so like I said, you can do, you know, the more kind of palms in in a neutral, neutral spot here. You can also do the claw, it fits really well. Um, mm -hmm. Brady's done that and he'll talk a little bit more about that. He's got an arm lock version. Um, this one also too comes in not only the 10 inch, but it does come in the longer version in the 15. Um, so, you know, we're talking about versatility and, you know, gripping from the top, choking up a little bit, or even choking all the way down. You could do that. Multiple grips, you know, a high hand, a low hand, almost hockey stick style, if that's your jam. Um, but yeah. And then last thing also too on this one, it does come in that, um, it comes in the semi tacky and then the more smooth feel. So whatever is your preference there, they... Um, have a grip that'll suit you. Um, but Brady's gonna talk a little bit about the quad tour for the arm lock. But before I, I kind of hop in there, there's one more version of it. It's called the quad tour pistol. Um, so like I said, it's got that little trapezoid look. The pistol um, quad tour is a little bit skinnier and taller. And so if you kind of like that feel um, more, it's just a slightly different shape, but you know, essentially does the same thing. So Brady, yeah. tell me a little bit more about the arm lock. And again, the kind of cool thing we talked about early on is that Garson has multiple options and sizes and shapes. And it is cool that they also have um, the quad tour, which a lot of people like, but in the arm lock. And the cool thing about it is with those angles that um, Tyson was just talking about, it fits quite well against your arm when you're doing the arm lock uh, method. And then on top of that, something that I like with the flat um, part of the grip on top is that not only is it good just for your standard arm lock grip, but it's pretty good for a claw as well, which um, I think it's Will Zalatoris. He uses a claw grip with his arm lock. Mm -hmm. um, and I've started to do that when I use the arm lock, but also it's pretty good for the index finger going along <clears throat> against the side. And so there's a few different grips that you can do with it. It fits pretty well. It's that, this one's that more smooth one, but yeah, same shape um, as the regular quad tour, but on an arm lock. All right, so the last one we're gonna talk about, like Tyson brought up, is the Ultimate Grip by Garson. Now this grip has actually been used by Tony Finau, and he recently won two tournaments in a row, and he's been doing pretty well. Um, and actually, this is one of my favorite of the grips as well, because uh, I recently have enjoyed using the um, claw grip. And I feel like this one, with the shape, is very comfortable to hold with the claw, um, and with the flat top and kind of that uh, shape on the sides. So it's more rounded on the bottom, but you still have that, those angles on the top and it fits pretty well for that claw and it feels pretty stable. And I believe Tony has also used, Tony Finau has also used the claw grip. And so a slight negative if this is what you're looking for, unlike the Quad Pro where it forces you more with those angles on the bottom, this one's more rounded, but again, Get the grip that fits your holding method. If this is more comfortable to you, and for a lot of people it is, it is for Tony, and then having that flat top and having it fit around on your hand for a claw grip, this is a great grip for that. And <clears throat> it's been one of my favorite. It's on my backup putter that I always keep in my car in case I don't have my clubs with me. But speaking of Tony Finau, we have another grip here. Yeah, so, um... Tony Fina obviously is an ambassador of Garson, um, and one of the cool things that you can do if you buy a Garson grip, you can buy a Tony Finau 
uh, branded one with the logo there. And what's cool is that, yep. uh, so this is on the Max 15, and then it's on the um, the Ultimate. Um, and those do go to help his foundation. Um, so that is really cool. You can get, you know, that limited lime green looking color. color. I love yeah. the color. Tell me too, yeah. But yeah, one logo. thing I, I wanted to mention about the Ultimate um, and kind of its similarity that it shares with the um, Quad Tour is the fact that it does kind of have that, that parallelogram trapezoid type look. However, the bottom part, if you were to sub out the bottom part of the trapezoid, it is round, kind of like what Brady was saying. So if you want something to kind of fit your hands in a maybe more natural way and not so kind of forceful, and you you know you're you're not wanting to you know do anything drastic to your your putting grip. This might be a good one to go to as well. A little more versatile in that yeah, sense. Yeah, a little more versatile. Um, you know, you can do a little bit more with it. But you know that is you know me and Brady's overall kind of review and kind of specs of these grips. Um, you know, I personally I actually have thrown on the Max Tour onto my gamer. Um, it has the smooth um, tack feel on it. I really like it. I'm all about removing variable <laughs> with my, my arms and kind of bringing everything in. And so it's worked out really good for me. Uh, I love the material. Uh, you know, that's one thing that really stood out kind of yeah. over the other brands that we- Material <laughs> and design. And look. design, yep. Yep, yep. overall it makes my putter look a lot better. But yeah, overall really good thing to say about Garson. Definitely give one a try, um, you know, and find the grip that works with your holding method. Yeah. Make it easier on yourself. Um, you know, and if it's not Garson, if it's another company, you know, that does something specific, you know, look into that. But there really is a benefit to having the right grip for the right holding system. Yep. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Um, subscribe. Me and Brady upload golf content every week, and we will see you guys next time.